It is our first full day in Istanbul. We're back at Taksim Square. We came here last night. Absolutely crazy. A little less crazy now. But we're gonna explore today. I don't have anything specific planned. We're gonna get some kebab. We're gonna get kebab for breakfast because, I mean, what else do you do here? Wait, we gotta keep trying though. Hang on. So there's no sauce. No it's greens. all meat. And it's still delicious. Yeah, and it's still delicious. Okay, if this is like the tourist square version, I'm so excited to try the other ones because this is great. How much were these again? 24 lira. Lira, so two, two dollars. And the street is just as crazy as last night. We just stumbled into the St. Anthony of Padua Church. It's the biggest Roman Catholic church in all of Istanbul, so we're gonna go check it out. We just wandered into this place to get some tea and stuff to go, and then they were like, oh, come on, sit down, so. <laughs> I somehow ended up with a sugarless bubble tea latte with mango boba. It's popping boba. It's actually really good together. And the sweetness from the boba makes up for the sugarlessness of the latte. I did not think I was gonna like that, but it's actually super good. I got turkey and coffee. I know this sounds weird, but it's nice to have coffee that has a little bit of texture. <laughs> and then they served me like a handful of gravel. At least I hope it's not gravel. I think it's chocolate. You're actually just eating the decoration? Oh. <laughs> no, it's, it's chocolate. It was a weird little cafe we just went into. Yeah, never had anything like it, but yeah, I liked it. Very kitschy. <laughs> it was. We made it to the Galata Tower. I think that's how you say it. I should ask someone. I don't know any. Wanna ask that guy? Sure. Yeah. Excuse me, how do you pronounce the name of this tower? Galata Tower. Galata, okay, thank you. So, I guess there was a big fire that burned down a lot of the city. And the rebuilding of this tower sort of signifies like the modern era of this neighborhood. Cool. Yeah. I could, I could see it, it's pretty modern. It looks so good. Some sort of a spice kebab. This is dobabri kebab. Like lots of chili peppers, which is what I got. And tomato. And there's this one, which is like lamb shish kebab. I really have no idea what this is. It looks like just a bread pillow. It's like a big hollow bread. Demolished. Now we're trying to head to the Grand Bazaar, the Blue Mosque, it's across the river. So we're gonna try to get there before it closes. I believe it's at 6 p.m. that everything shuts down. So I don't know if you guys can hear the music over the roaring wind right now, but that is the call to prayer. And they do this five times a day. It's a practice in Islam. Are you supposed to? Yeah, it's called a prayer. You're supposed to go and I pray think, wherever you are. I believe most people know. I'm just yeah. clarifying for anyone. I, I know, like, <laughs> I have people from Hollister watching, okay? <laughs> This looks like a pretty popular spot to come fish and also on the, what would you call this bridge? <laughs> Walking area. They are selling mussels and all sorts of stuff just fresh right, right here. Probably right where they caught it. It is so 
beautiful here. Alan was just comparing it to like being as beautiful as like a Sydney or San Diego or some other you know major city on the water. Yeah, it's like the dead of winter and it's totally mild. It's super nice. It's like out. 70 degrees out today. I'm sweating right now. <laughs> and I love it. I love the people here. They're so nice. It's such a vibrant city. I'm really digging it. I'm thinking we might have to stay a little longer. The Grand Bazaar is supposed to be just a few minutes that way. Hey, look. Thank you. Thank you so much, right, oh, Thank you. Thank you so it's much. Circus Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, tell me how it is, Alan. <laughs> mm, delicious. That's so good. Mm -hmm. This is my first time trying baklava. It's so good. How do you say thank you in Turkish? Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. Yeah. Close enough? <laughs> <laughs> Like. Which one do you like the best? All is better. You want to, you can try all of them, not problem. <laughs> I'll, I'll try this one. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> he just gave me some Turkish delight of some sort. I don't know what kind. Mm. I, I really like this. I kind of want to go buy some. Wait, you want to try it? It's like peanut buttery and nuggety. Nougat, sorry, not nugget. Mm. I like that. Yeah. It's like jelly and nougat at the same time. Yeah, it's super good. Tell you what, the Costco sample lady's got nothing on these guys. <laughs> They're great salespeople. They really have a lot of like banter and spirit to them, you know? A lot of these people are, you know, they have the hustle, they're, they're selling you, but they're not really super pushy. They don't make you feel bad for if you're not ready to buy or you need to walk away, you know? Yeah, they're just like having fun almost. Yeah, I, I like them. <laughs> this is awesome. So as you can see, the Grand Bazaar is closed at the moment. So we're going to have to come back another day. I think we'll do an entire video just for it. I mean, it's supposed to be amazing. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Looks great. We've just found ourselves in a big, beautiful park. It's so pretty. Look at that cat. Hunting those big old seagulls. The seagulls here are huge. This is 1,500 years old? Yeah, okay. absolutely. And it was a church. We ended up just getting pulled in to like a what, hour, two hour long conversation <laughs> with that yeah. guy. It was really nice. Uh, they're just so friendly here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna dinner. do now. I guess, yeah, find dinner. This was the bazaar Ibrahim was talking about. I'm gonna have some Turkish delight too. This is from Hafiz Mustafa. Yeah, we basically just asked the guy what his favorites were and we were like, okay, fill the box with all the ones you like. But doesn't that just look like suitably Turkish? It does. Oh, I've never had it before. Give it a try. Um, on the surface, it's kind of like a spongy, gooey type of thing. You can't even pull it apart. If that gives you any feel about its texture. It's pretty good. It's like a gummy candy, but with brilliant, complex flavor. Mm -hmm. That's a rose one. It's very rose. <laughs> And she's like, well, my grandma's like perfume. <laughs> like, you just ate like one of her like sachets. <laughs> I don't know if I like that one. Yeah, I don't think that's food flavor. It's like, <laughs> like a sweet bar of soap. Okay, I bought one of these long ones. <laughs> Not sure about that one either. I think that was mango. I know, it's like aftershave flavor. Right? What do you think it tastes like? I don't know, a stick of deodorant? Yeah, right? No. <laughs>
but they're really good. The good ones are really good, and then the other ones, I'm acquired a... taste. <laughs> so that was the end of our first day in Istanbul. Yeah, if you want to check out some more of the city with us or any of the mosques, thing like that, things like that, be sure to check out our next video. See you next time, guys. Bye!